Hello everybody, welcome back to Awesome Crafter. Today I thought I'd come along and show you how I made these super little pot holders that made perfect gifts for Christmas but can actually be used for any time of the year. Uh, they're super quick and easy, relatively cheap to make and yeah, let's get on with it. So for this craft we're going to use a pot holder. Um, I bought these online, you can actually buy them from places like Amazon. And what we're going to do is we're going to get a design that I purchased from Design Bundles and we're going to use a cry cut and heat transfer vinyl and we're going to heat transfer um, the design onto the front and then we're ready to stuff it with whatever items we think would be suitable. So let's get going. So I'll take you over to my screen now to design space. Now we're ready to start looking at our design for our pot holder. I'm now going to use my cry cut design space to upload my image and I'm going to click on uploads if you've got an image that you've already bought or you've already designed and it's stored on your computer then you need to click on the upload images I however have already uploaded mine and I'm going to use the cooking is love made edible I bought this design from design bundles as part of a pot holder bundle I absolutely love their design so that's what I'm going to use as you can see, now I've clicked on it, it's turned the outer box green. So now that's green, I'm just going to click Add to Canvas. Then it takes us back to our canvas. And as you can see, the design is way, way too big. But that's not a problem, because what we're going to do is where it says size at the top, I'm going to change, click on that, double click on that so it's highlighted, and I'm going to change the width to be five inches. And then I'm just going to click that one, and it's going to change the size of the height also. And there you can see our design is now a much better size and that is going to fit on my pot holder because I've already measured the dimensions of the front and I've got plenty of room with it being five inches wide and making it three point just over three and a half inches high is perfect. So now we're ready what we're going to do now is we need to click on make it that's going to take us to our next screen where it shows you the mat um, and then I've loaded the vinyl onto the mat ready. Now, because I'm using heat transfer vinyl, I need to mirror my image. So I'm going to click on mirror the image and that's going to flip the text. So as you can see now, the text is all reversed, which is perfect. Now that's done, we're going to click on continue. And as you can see now, it's connecting to my cry cut maker. And it's just searching for it. Now it's found it. These are some of the base materials that I've saved. Now for these projects, I like to use premium vinyl because I've tried this one on numerous occasions and that's the one that seems to work best for my vinyl. Um, because there's a few intricate little parts to the design, I'm going to change my pressure default to more just to make sure that it cuts it out perfectly first time and it's all usable. And now that's ready, we are now ready to go back over to the maker and click the flashing cry cut button and that will start cutting. Now we're going to press our flashing cry cut button and get our design cut out. Now that it's finished cutting, we're going to eject the mat and we're going to turn the mat over and peel off the vinyl to stop it from curling up. Then I'm going to trim down the vinyl to make the weeding slightly easier. So I'm just going to carefully trim around the edge of the design. Now we need to weed the vinyl, just leaving our design behind. And I shall be back in a minute when this is fully weeded. Now my design is all weeded, I'm ready to go. As you can see, it's turned out really well, the cry cuts cut it really well. And just by placing it on there, I can see that it fits perfectly. Um, so I'm really happy with that. Now I need to swap out my cry cut maker for my heat press. So I'm going to do that now. I'm now going to turn on my heat press and allow that to heat up because what we need to do now is we need to heat the pot holder just for a few seconds before 
we apply the design just to take out any moisture and this will help the design the heat vinyl transfer to stick onto it so once the heat press has reached its temperature we shall do that now our heat press has reached temperature i'm just going to pop it on to my pot holder i'm not going to change the time that says 30 seconds um, i'm just going to click start and i'm just going to watch it count down for about five to ten seconds and just hold it on so it heats it up then i'm going to press the green cry cut sign again to stop it i'm going to pop that back on there now i'm going to take my heat transfer vinyl and i'm going to position it on the front i'm going to keep it below i've got some lines on the pot holder i'm going to keep my design below them lines i think because i think that will look best and i'm just going to position it on i'm just going to take my ruler and just make sure it's level on both sides so yep yeah, that's better that's more centered now okay so now we're going to take our heat press again and we're just going to press that now applying pressure onto it for 30 seconds i'm just going to hold it down and just wait while it counts down then we're going to flip it over then and we're just going to heat press it on the reverse side for about 10 seconds as well just to help the design stick to the pot holder that's that side complete so i'm just going to quickly lift it up and flip it over and just watch it count down again for about another 10 seconds i'm going to press that crack up button and just stop that and pop that back on there and then now I'm just going to let it cool down for a few seconds and then we're going to lift it off and hopefully it'll all be stuck down. If for any reason it isn't, then just pop the protective sheet back on and then just heat press it for another few seconds until it adheres better. But as you can see, that's stuck, that's worked absolutely perfectly. It's heat pressed lovely. And there we go. That's how quick and easy it was to make these pot holders. And now we can pop in whatever we want, whether that's cake mix or kitchen equipment or any other kind of goodies that you can find. Um, it makes a super quick, cheap gift that's a bit more personalised sometimes than what you can buy in the shop. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I shall look forward to seeing you on the next one. Goodbye for now.